for each different type of number, there's a way that we represent it in mathematics. So this whole theory, number theory, there's a way to represent each of the numbers that we spoke about in the last video, natural number, whole number, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and real numbers. So there's, there's a way to represent them, especially natural, whole, and integers. Let's just jump into it. Hey, look at me, boy. Mini me. All right, so natural numbers are counting numbers. Those are the numbers. If you start counting something, one, two, three, those are that. Notice zero not in there. One, two, three. These three dots here, these three dots just mean follow the same pattern. And these squiggly brackets here, those curly brackets mean the set of. So the set of numbers, one, two, three, and so on, follow that pattern. All right, so um, whole numbers, W, whole numbers, we're just going to throw in zero in the mix. So it's basically natural numbers plus zero. And that was the question in the last video. Hope you got that one. Integers, there, there's two ways you can represent integers. This is the more common way, where we show that integers include negative numbers as well as positive numbers. So if you remember, this is the whole number section here. And we want to show in negative numbers like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, ne and so on, going backwards like this. So it's like you're counting backwards. So a common mistake people do is like put negative 1, negative 2, neg negative 2 negative three zero you understand that's a big mistake that people do when they're now starting off with negative numbers all right so integers including negative numbers what about rational numbers well rational numbers is expressed in this unique way where we say p over q so this is like a fraction and p over q here represents a fraction <laughs> uh you remember this q i said this q here you can think of quotient as it meaning division so P and Q, the thing with P and Q is that they are integers. Somebody say integers, integers. P and Q represent integers, right? So an example of that could be like 3 over 2. 1.5 is a rational number. What about 4 over 2? I get 2. So 2 is also a rational number. So rational numbers include already... Uh, Integers, because it could have a negative here, and that would be negative. So integers, including negative numbers, including whole numbers, including natural numbers. So it's like you're going up in terms of inclusiveness. And this is the big boy here. This is the big party. Rational numbers. What next? Irrational numbers lying outside of this. Numbers that cannot be rationalized. Now, an example, another example of a rational number would be like two-thirds. And if you put any calculator, you get 0 0.666. Maybe in next 6 now, so it didn't look too bad. And recurring, meaning that pattern of 6s just go on and on. So that's a, that's actually a rational number. A rational number is one which you can rationalize where we don't really know what's going on. Like pi. Pi is not 22 or 7. This is an approximation that we just tell you um, when you start maths, right? It's not really 22 or 7. So if you put pi in a calculator, let me bring up my calculator here quickly. So if I place pi in my calculator, shift pi and I press equal, well, let's just get this in the decimal point. My my calculator will try and give me the best that it can do. 3.141592654. But these numbers just go on and on and there's no rational pattern in these numbers. Another example would be like square root of 2 is an uh, irrational number. Another example of irrational number would be like square root of 3 or e um those constants no that that's that's irrational numbers there's no pattern no order about them we can't rationalize them so in irrational numbers you don't really need to remember set notation for it all you need to remember are some examples of irrational numbers at this level and finally real numbers real numbers will include everybody meaning you include your irrational numbers and so and we use union rational numbers irrational numbers is sometimes i so you can say i sometimes even for irrational numbers sometimes the lc they use p so real numbers is the combined set of irrational numbers like pi and square root of two and all rational numbers any number that you can think of other than any rational number stands for a rational number and that's it that's it. Now, there are, there's complex numbers, but that's not at this level. So we'll just pretend that I didn't say that. And 
More about number sets is coming really soon, so stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to press like on the video so you can reach more people and subscribe if you haven't. Next time.